Oh yeah, I got some good news. MLB is officially here. We've been testing some bets out. Now we get to do the real deal and a real thing. So I hope you guys are excited. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to help support the channel. Push that video, push this video out to the masses for yo. Y'all already know. So if you're not a Hall of Famer, give you access to every single one of my bets and a slip so you can just click it when you're busy. I know y'all got jobs. You just click it and it go right into whatever sports bet you need. That's only $25. And we also have the show me the chats. If you just want the chat feature, you can check it out. See what crazy bets I add throughout the day in the chats and see what other cappers are doing. Get access to Bobby and Tony Betts. So I originally, last year was my first year betting on MLB and I made the mistake of starting early and not waiting for like the first 10 games to see what it was. And it just was an L and it was like just building your way up. And by the end of the year, I get decent with it. This year, I believe we definitely have a winning, winning record. Be very good, learn a little bit more. And next year, I'll probably be the best in the world craig oh, no. let's get it so this is how i'm going to do it i'm going to show you guys all plays and how we are doing it so if our updated unit chart for mlb is going to look very much like hockey so if you guys have been following my hockey plays they're going to look very similar, but just a little different. So think of hits when you're hitting, hitting that ball. That is a SOG. That's a shot on goal. When you get a goal, that is like a home run. You will see my alt spreads, alt over unders on a lot of unit plays. And you will see a lot of like quarter units, half a unit plays and round robins like always. First unit play of the season. We're going with the New York Yankees at home plus one and a half and for the over to be over seven total runs. I was going to do a breakdown of all games, but we can we can just get to the money. Let's get to the money. And I see my face is in the way. There we go. So those are the bets. And that is minus 103. Next minus 122. On the Detroit and Pittsburgh Pirates game, I got the of uh, I have a alt under of ten point five, and we have a over seven point five. The Mets versus the Braves in Atlanta, minus one twenty two. I like it. Next one, a plus one hundred one. We have a alt under eleven and a half on Dodgers and Twins game. We have alternative runs over on 6.5 on the Phillies in the cards game and we got the Tampa Bay Tampa Bay Rays to win or lose by two runs plus 101 next up we got the San Diego Padres to win or lose by one run against the clubs and we have the total runs over six minus 102 and we have a hit on baby you know I like the hits. I want to do more because I have so many different hit things. So this is something I will probably add in the chats and give you guys just some more game of just different bets. I like we're going with Mr. Show Off, Otani to get a hit, and Jose Altuve, I believe. Tuve have gotten a hit every single game this year. Otani haven't, but we know he can get that done at any given time. Minus 107, great freaking value. And our last unit play. Gotta have my strikeouts. I'm cold when it come down to picking these out. We going with Jesus to get five strikeouts. We going with Valdez to get a four. And um, and Blake Snell to get five. That's how we're going to do it. Minus 115, baby. So these are all our four units. We are going hard day one. I like it. Now, this is for a quarter of a unit. So this is, I know on DraftKings, y'all seen it. I did it more than a quarter unit, but I like this as a quarter of a unit play. We got stolen bases plus 400. He have gotten a stolen base damn near every game besides like one. He's been consistent. So all they got to do is get on base. Once to get on base, 
you know he will be running. So I think the value is great. And you see I'm using Outlier. If you guys don't have access to it, you'll be able to see exactly how you get to break down the stats and check it out. You can try it out for a week free with your boy link in the bio. So you see on FanDuel, it's plus 300. DraftKings plus 400. Um, bet MGM plus 375. So you want it over here. And to be honest, majority of your bets should be on a DraftKings because DraftKings going to give you your insurance, the insurance you need. Because what happens is when you start doing plays, right? So let's just say, for example, Jose, we have him to get two hits or whatever it is, get, get two hits for today. And he end up not playing. So in a regular world, in our mind, it's like, all right, they're going to void him out. But in baseball, his ass will pop in and a knife in in the last second and be a pinch hitter and just come in and strike out. And FanDuel will be like, ah, he played, y'all lose. DraftKings will be like, that's dumb. We're, we're, we're not counting that. So you want to kind of do more bets over there. Unless just the odds is better. Like, for example, my one um, home run, boy, this is a quarter of a unit play. Cattell Marte. And it's funny because I told myself, I'm like, since I watched last year, Marte usually start at the beginning of the lineup and he would hit a home run first pitch. I seen it happen so many times last year. So I'm like, Lando, I need to bet on it every game until he do it. And I did not just, I remember to think of it and like in, a, in his last three games, First time going up, he hit a home run less <laughs> in two two times in a row. Like, come on, dog. So he's hot right now. He's in his bag. And they're going against the Rockies. So I like this quarter of a unit to get you a full unit. And I did that on FanDuel because you get the best odds and the best bang for your buck. So with home runs right now, since home runs don't look pretty right now, they're not looking attractive we haven't been getting them i'm going mainly towards bases so the difference are you get a home run that's four bases or you can hit two doubles and get four bases you can get four singles and get four bases you can get a triple and you can get one single so you have more options but really these are players i want to get a home run so it's like yeah you make more money if you get a home run, but just give you a little bit of insurance just in case it's a crazy game and everybody getting hits. So with baseball, I like insurance every way I go on majority of my bets, to be honest. So we're going Aaron Judge, four bases, Austin and Riley, four, four bases, and Christian Walker, four bases. And right now we're only doing a dollar and two dollars, a total of five dollars for the round, round robin, and a five dollars gets you one twelve. Next, we got some of the hard hitters. We got um Kyle, we got Pete, and we got Willie. Dollar, two dollars, five dollars get you one oh eight four bases, and we got our 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 what do I call these? This is like my my players with swag. They not power hitters. They just can hit the ball consistently. Now markets can do a little different, but we got Harris, we got Betts and Simeon. We got these three all four bases. Dollar, two dollars, five dollars get you one sixty four. And the last one, Tatis Jr. Fernando, we are rocking with you, Bryce Harper. We're rocking with you. And my gut told me, Max, I was gonna switch him out, but we're gonna rock with you, Max. So get the job done. Make me look good. Five dollars get you one sixty four. So next up is our money line plays. Every day last year, we um. I did these and I did very good. Like we won money when it came down to my money line predicting who's going to win. And I always like round robin it to two away just in case we got some leeway. So for example, it's eight teams right here. This is who I believe to, to win guards, Yankees, Braves, twins to cover the spread Rangers cover the spread. So these two, they could win, but you know, um, Diamondbacks, Tampa, and Padres. So this is 45 12. What I did was $3 for the parlay, 25 cents starting at sixes. So basically, once we get to six, you'll probably at least get your money back or a little bit more. Didn't even do sevens. So really, we just need six out of these eight to hit. 
and if all of them hit ten dollars will get us 252 next is my upset slip i usually do for ten dollars and yes i always do these twice i don't i'm not gonna track them as a unit as twice but just let you guys know i always do these twice because people in the patreon I'm like hey we can cash this one out we can ride it so that's up to you but i always do these twice so my upset slip detroit haven't lost on a road seattle st louis and astros that's a great upset slip they can make it happen technically you're not upset but in my mind they are because i don't have them to win so, so ten dollars get you one thirty foul this is the perfect one we just want one of these to hit one time this year just one if we just hit one of these this year we will be green early and for the rest of the year so with this is the perfect money line you got 13 games when you want every single thing to go in your way we got the guards yankees brewers detroit um mariners mets dodgers cards mm -mm. astros rockies angels clubs and giants now it's the reason i have these i really do a bunch of them but i just want to show y'all a zillion of them so i do different scenarios like who got the best pitcher this game who i have ranked higher so it's like literally too many options but with that one i always round robin it two under so just a minimum nine cents at 11s then a nine cents at 12s and if we did the full shebang so it can just be even money at ten dollars just go 100 percent we win twenty one thousand. you see how you just really want to hit one of these once a year so you have to get used to losing with baseball you got to think to be a hall of famer all you have to do is hit the ball three times out of ten <laughs> and fail seven times so yeah we're gonna have to fail a lot but just that one day is gonna take you to the next level and we have to do a yolo every day why not so though yelich olsen muncie arnado garcia we need all you guys to hit a home run yeah i could do bases but you know and this is the way i usually round robin it and this is the play it's only a five dollar play 11 cents nine cents nine cents 91 cents five dollars get you 19 dial wow, out you can do it twice if you want to you know i did and that is how we get it so next up we have our no home runs so for the new people the new people our no home run challenge that is basically where we're trying to turn ten dollars into eight thousand dollars in ten days every three days we are going to take profit so once we hit three days we're in the green that's how we want to do it we are fading players to not hit home runs this season so far is looking green because a lot of players have been hitting home runs so these are four unit plays you can do it twice one is four unit and one for the challenge that's how i do them all so this is the ten dollar challenge play where we have andrew vaughn no home run parker meadows no home run jared kalinick no home run enrique hernandez no home run diaz it's yanner diaz no home runs and brandon drury none for you my dog this is a plus 101 on the back mgm you can do it also on DraftKings, but you're not going to get the same odds and here go we always like to do two of them next up and this one is usually i have like this is the first one will always be the less aggressive play and the second one will be the more aggressive so this is the more aggressive so we're going with hot skin minus 450 we got riley green who never hit home runs back to back who hit one last game and i and i had money on it jt we're fading you ryan randomly he never got a home run against buddy and logan oh hope i believe just hope we don't need you to get any so i give you guys an example of how you can use outlier if you want to do the no home runs and start messing around with it yourself what you do is go to uh, first go to mlb let me 
make myself disappear. Go to MLB. Then you go to home runs under since we don't want any home runs. And odds, these odds are good. So when you look, you see last five games, Newman haven't hit a home run. Last 10 games, the last 20 games. Wow. So you'll look at it, but I have a way of doing it like this. These odds are minus 5,000. So they know he's probably not going to hit a home run. So let's say if we're looking for good players or certain type of players that can possibly get you. And who I was just talking about, I was talking about Ryan. You can look at certain players and he's a good hitter. He's a good player. Um, Ryan, why don't probably got your odds a little different. There you go. So you look at him. He just hit a two home run. He already hit two home runs this year. So you're like, Lando, why would you go against him? I'm looking at what he have done against this pitcher. Now you're going to have a second one after a while. But against Gallon, he had 37 tries. Zero home runs against him. Hitting at 219. So he got his number, not all the way, and he failed to hit a home run in the last 14, 17 games. But with this season, a little different. So he could get us, could not, but you can use outlier for multiple different ways. So hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to have some good bets going. And let's start the season off green and all that good stuff. So, oh, and I forgot to say, I need to start the video off. So if y'all made it to the end, if y'all made it to the end, what we're going to do once a day is a DLD, dinger a day, dinger of day. So what I want you guys to do in the comments, give me three of your best players that you believe will hit a home run today. And whichever one get the most likes, I will put some money on it and I would do a giveaway if it end up hitting the next day. So once again, what, whoever three players you think going to hit a home run, whatever one get the most likes, I'm putting money on it, and we will do a giveaway. DOD, let's go.